Brett Hollander alongside Orioles starter Kyle Gibson. Kyle, thank you for joining us before the game today. Hey, Brett. Thanks for having me out. Well, I do think there's kind of a trait with this team to get a win when they need a win after a skid. The team has not been swept since May of last year. In your experience in baseball, is that a characteristic of a good club? That absolutely is. Uh, that's hard to do, really. I know it's hard to sweep someone, um, but when you're on a skid, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're in a spot where you're really not playing your best baseball, two losses can easily turn into three, three into four. Um, and I, I think anybody who's been watching, we haven't played the cleanest baseball over the last 10 games, but yesterday we played really well. And we've kept ourselves afloat, even though we haven't been playing the best best baseball. So to get a win last night, to give, give ourselves a chance to split the series tonight was really big for us. Obviously, all the fans are talking about the debut of Kowser and Westbrook getting called up recently. But how about Dean Kramer last night? who pitched seven innings. He was dominant. Ten strikeouts. That's a career high. What were your thoughts on Dean last night? You know, he's got so many pitches and so many weapons that he can use to both sides of the plate. And when he executes those pitches, he is really, really tough to figure out. There's not many ways that you can game plan against a guy that can throw all of his pitches to both sides of the plate. And when he makes adjustments on the fly like he does so well with Adley and James, uh, it's even harder to figure out in the middle innings. And then if you let him get settled in, just like Kyle Bradish, uh, it's tough to figure out because you're up there looking for three, four, five pitches, and you just never know which one's it's going to be when they're all on. You mentioned Kyle Bradish. He gets the ball tonight for the Orioles against Luis Severino. Kyle's been a, on a nice roll over an extended stretch. Numbers are better year over year than last year. We all see this stuff, but what jumps out to you when you see Kyle Bradish on the mound? You know, he's got quite a few outlier pitches, uh, and I know that's probably a lot of baseball talk jargon, but he has a, a four-seam fastball that doesn't act like many people's four-seam fastball, plus it's plus velocity. He's got a slider that's really good, um, and he's got a curveball that is really devastating. So when you have multiple breaking pitches like that, and then you can throw both fastballs, a two and a four-seam, same thing as Dean. It keeps hitters guessing. Uh, righties don't know if the ball's coming into him or going away from him, and lefties the same thing. So uh, when he's rolling, it's a lot of fun to sit over here and watch because he can pile up strikeouts and put up zeros quick. Kyle, after 11 years in the show, you're kind of a world traveler, at least here <laughs> in the United States. When you come to New York, do you like to get here and you know maybe take the subway and really explore the space a little bit yeah this has been a little bit of a clubhouse phenomenon here the last few days <laughs> thinking why would i take the subway but uh, i love it it's actually one of my favorite things about new york getting to the field a little bit quicker uh you know seeing a little bit of the culture in new york getting from you know hotels to wall street getting from there to the field um there's nothing like it so i absolutely enjoy it my brother's in north jersey a, a baltimorean with his uh, baltimore wife and family living behind enemy lines there i took new jersey transit back uh, to the hotel yesterday. I'm proud of myself for negotiating that. I mean, that's a big accomplishment for me. And then when we go to Minneapolis tomorrow, you obviously played there for a very long time. First round pick for the Twins. Any recommendations for, for us when we get there? Uh, yes. If you like pizza, uh, one of my favorite spots is Young Joni. Okay. Uh, it's, it's in we do like like pizza. An, an older part of downtown Minneapolis. Uh, Coal-fired pizza, a really cool atmosphere, kind of a rustic inside. Uh, it's the first place I ever had to put arugula on pizza. I Ooh. know that sounds weird, putting putting leafy greens on pizza, but uh, it's really, really good. And last one for you, Kyle. You've watched this game for a long time. Everyone's talking about the young talent that's with the Baltimore Orioles. When you look at just the pure athletic skill set of the likes of Henderson and Rutschman and Kowser and Westberg, where does it stand out to you? <laughs> Uh, is really, it freakish? Uh, yeah, it's, it's all over the diamond, and it's every guy. You know, one thing that's been so impressive to me is just when they get called up, they're ready not only physically and, and baseball skills-wise, but mentally they're ready. Uh, they're prepped for media. They're prepped for, you know, how to be a professional in the locker room. Um, it's something like I've never really seen. You don't normally have this many blue-chip prospects come up, not have egos, not have any issues in the clubhouse um, because they join a clubhouse with a lot of personality. So when they come in they fit in, uh, it makes them more comfortable. They can perform better just like you've seen. Kyle Gibson, who will get the ball in Minneapolis at Target Field where he used to play. Kyle, we appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Yep, thank you.